Alright guys, if you're ready to make some better than Chipotle vegan burritos, here's what you're going to need. We will need one huge flour tortilla. I got these from Whole Foods. They're whole wheat flour tortillas, burrito size, they're ginormous. You can put anything in them. We're going to need two cups of cooked brown rice. One half of a cup of refried vegetarian pinto beans, a little bit of red onion, red pepper, some serrano peppers, and lettuce. Then we're gonna need some roasted corn. This is about half a cup. Then we have guacamole and the red pepper cheese sauce that we used in the ultimate nachos recipe. The link is right here. Also, we're gonna need some pico de gallo and some hot sauce. All right, so to assemble this bad boy, we're first going to mix together our brown rice and our refried beans. Now, I always make sure that I cook rice right away and use it while it's hot because it just tastes a lot better in the burrito than using cold rice. You could also use white rice or other types of beans as well. You don't have to use pinto refried beans. You could use black refried beans. But this is what it's going to look like after it's all mixed together. It's going to be nice and sticky and hold everything together really well. So then we're just gonna be placing this in the middle of our burrito. We wanna make sure that we get it to the sides as much as we can, keeping about like an inch from the side so that it's not spilling out of our burrito once we wrap it all together. Then we're just gonna be adding in the rest of our ingredients. So like I'm doing here, we want to add them in next to each other in lines. This is important because when we wrap the burrito up and it's all grilled and ready to eat, we're gonna get different tastes with each bite. And it just tastes so much better than everything being mushed all together. All right, so now to wrap our burrito, we want to fold in the sides and fold over the back. When we're rolling it though, we wanna keep all of the ingredients underneath the first tuck. So you kind of just want to shove them back in towards the burrito and keep the sides folded in and slowly wrap it together as tightly as you can. So like you can see here, it's nice and tightly wrapped, nothing is falling out, there's no juices coming out or anything like that. And now we are ready to grill. So this is the most important part of the entire burrito, it's what makes it phenomenal. You want to grill it on both sides so that it's nice and hot, it's nicely grilled and it has like a nice crispiness to it. So what I'm just doing here is taking my nonstick skillet, setting my temperature to medium high, and then putting a lid over it. I'm kind of shoving it down so that it keeps really nicely to the pan and that it will keep the burrito nice and hot while it's grilling. So this will take about three to five minutes on each side when you have the lid on. Just watch it carefully and once it gets brown like this, it's time to flip it and then we'll do the same thing to the other side. Now it's just time to cut it in half and devour the crap out of it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this recipe. If you have any other ideas for recipes that you want the badass vegan kitchen to make, Leave them in the comments below. Also, leave how much you love this recipe down below and share it with all your friends that love Chipotle. Show them that you can eat just as good of a burrito, if not a better burrito, and it will be vegan and healthy and great for you. So share it on Facebook, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Bye!